And apparently, they think the explosion will go as high as 15 feet. Oh, wow.
Everybody, we're getting down to just about five minutes before we're ready for the eruption. Thank you. 
everybody. I'm sorry that not everybody can probably hear me. I'll try, I'll do my best. But hi, my name is Matt. I'm an educator here at OMSI. Thank you guys all so much for coming out. I don't, I'm, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. The best we can do is this one speaker we got. So anyway, my name is Matt. I'm an educator here at OMSI. Thank you all so much for coming out uh, and helping us kick off this explosion. Uh, we're we're tr attempting to break the world record for the world's largest baking soda vinegar volcano. So the, yeah. the current record is 28 feet tall with a four foot eruption. So we've got 34 feet of volcano and we'll see how high our eruption is. Fingers crossed it's more than four feet. All right, so if you guys are interested after this in exploring more about uh, volcanoes and specifically volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest or the historical implication of volcanoes, we have the Pompeii, the exhibition that is currently our featured exhibit. Come check it out. It's running till October 22nd. Okay. Basically, real quick, the science behind this baking soda vinegar volcano. We've got 40 gallons of baking soda dissolved in, sorry, 40 pounds of baking soda dissolved in 50 gallons of water. That's going to be pumped up into two 55 gallon drums, each one containing 33 gallons of vinegar. Thanks to the generous donations of Orchard Hardware and Costco for those supplies. <laughs> All right, so the sodium bicarbonate and the acetic acid in the vinegar are gonna mix together and they're going to create a lot of carbon dioxide. Now this is actually very similar to what happens in a, in a real volcano. If you get an explosive eruption in a volcano, a lot of those dissolved gases, the main gas being carbon dioxide and water vapor, when it gets closer to the surface, that pressure on the magma starts to decrease, the gas can escape from the magma, creating a large explosion. So we are hoping in this case, we will have a similar situation where we mix the two solutions, a lot of dissolved gas, carbon dioxide is going to be created and it's going to violently escape. We've got two little holes in the top. That should give us an explosive volcanic reaction. All right. Is everybody ready? All right, from 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and...
coming out. It'll be a little while before it becomes official, but I think we broke it, so. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Uh, we'll be around for a while if you have any questions.